we've got an expl explosive potion of Citra, Cascade, Centennial, and Chinook, which pumps this IPA. Mirza, are you going to enjoy pumping this IPA? <laughs> I might not. <laughs> Bosnia and Herzegovina. It's a fascinating and beautiful country, with a national diet comprised largely of meat and fried pastry, and populated by some of the friendliest people I've ever met. It's not known for its beer, but that doesn't mean you can't find excellent beers out here, whether from Bosnia itself or from neighbours Croatia and Serbia, you can pick up some excellent brews if you happen to find yourself out in the Balkans. So this is the most prevalent beer, the most popular beer of all across Bosnia and Herzegovina. It's called uh, Sarajevsko Premium, and as far as I can tell, it's just a very clean, crisp, buttery lager. It's not terribly complicated, but when it's 35 Celsius and you're washing down a whole load of grilled lamb, this is pretty much perfect. Intrigued, we made our way to the Sarajevska Brewery in Sarajevo. It's a gorgeous venue, uh, much like Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, but for alcoholics. And inside you'll find beers nettled on the piano, and waitstaff who feel entirely comfortable telling you that your order is daft and you should get the mixed meat sharing platter instead. An excellent call, by the way. Here the range is more extensive. Their dark beer, Tamno, is molasses sweet and perhaps a bit too sticky, but the lemony rattler is refreshing and zingy, exactly what we need to cool ourselves off. We can do better, though. Outside Macro Lagers, there's a whole bunch of smaller breweries making interesting craft beers, such as Old Brits down in Modstar. I spoke to one of the team in the Imai Morge craft beer garden. So we're here with Leila, who works in this uh, beautiful beer garden, craft beer garden. Um, so you were saying, like, this is a place that brews its own beer. You normally have something like six or seven beers on tap? Yeah, yeah, more than that even. Uh, so as long as we brew our own beer, my boss, in fact, uh, he left Bosnia and Herzegovina uh, to go to the U.S. during the 90s, during the war, actually, uh, where he discovered this whole world. Uh, and he actually started his own brewery, I believe, in Mostar in 2012, the Old Bridge Brewery, which yeah. is the one that makes all the beers that we currently have offered. Um, but along with that, you know, this beer garden was started, I believe, in 2018, a bit later, and it offers, along with the beers, you know, the heat and sub makes, uh, a lot of imports from breweries along the region. Uh, Mascaron in Dubrovnik is one that we have a great collaboration with. Uh, Gelender in Sarajevo also. So it's also a great place for people in Mostar to be able to not only try local craft beers, but branch out with it. We've had a lot of Gelender beers in the last week. It's been very top of sound. And which one is your favorite? My favorite beer personally, uh, Marapuja, that we are out, out of right now. It's <laughs> our Unfortunately, Cinco is a close, close second because they're very similar. Um, but yeah, the maracuja with its bit of passion fruit flavor is very good for somebody like myself who doesn't really like beer all too much. <laughs> but I'm I think my camera person may agree with that. The cracking beers too. Cinco is a pale ale which is lemony and has a bit of a barnyard funk, while Oaklandia is an oak-aged amber ale with grapefruit and caramel notes. Back in Sarajevo, we swing past gastropub Vučko, named for the city's mascot when they hosted the 1984 Winter Olympics. Here we are in Vučko, in Sarajevo. We're enjoying a decent amount of beer. Um, this is from Pi Brewery. Um, the gimmick here appears to be that every beer begins with P or Pi somehow. So we've got Penguin, we've also got Picasso, they've also got a, a variety of other very punny names. And naturally, that's exactly what I wanted to get into. Utopia as well, um, going, leading into that. Penguin here is a white IPA, um, so a decent amount of wheat content in there, I believe. It's, for a white IPA, it's not especially pale, but it is certainly quite cloudy. Decent amount of head on there. Very bitter, orange, grapefruit. Super bitter. And actually, you're not getting a huge amount of the wheat sweetness from that, or the wheat thickness. It's mostly just the bitterness from those hops. Um, so quite a lot of attack to it, and certainly one for those hop fans out there. 6.9%, so it's fairly punchy as well. If you're in town, you want to try a local Sarajevo beer, maybe give this a try. This is the good stuff. 
So here we are again, still in Vučko, and this time we've got a couple of beers from a Croatian brewery nearby called Nova Runda, which I'm probably pronouncing very, very wrong. Um, we've got an American IPA and an American Pale Ale, um, both of them with fairly interesting and very different labels. Um, we're going to start with the pale, slightly paler, more of a golden color. Kind of a corny uh, aroma, which is kind of interesting, like the cereal malt. A touch of bitterness, there's enough hop there to keep the hop heads interested, but it's quite soft, it's quite accessible, it's quite smooth, um, and still very light. And given that it is still relatively strong, I believe, 5.2% um, ABV, um, it's extremely drinkable, so quite a nice one. Uh, the American IPA, by contrast, 6.1, a little bit stronger, a little bit darker, kind of a more of a browny orange in color, quite hazy. There we're getting more orange aromas, a little bit of marmalade. And again, marmalade on the, on the, on the palate, quite light, very refreshing. They're both very good beers. You should come check it out. But there is a... There, there was an interesting question here. You know that moment when an unfamiliar phone number calls you asking where can we find more of this stuff, guys? And that is their proposal. We have drunk enough of this to want more. So, I feel, they feel confident you can drink more than one. Okay, so now you've actually had a sip. What do you think of this thing? It is much easier to drink than I thought. It's actually quite, quite lovely. It is fruitier. It is uh, beyond my comprehension of any kind of more depth of flavor. I cannot taste many of these things, but it's also very pleasant. So I would drink more of these and I would, you know, uh, call some friends saying, where can we find more of this stuff, guys? So, yeah. I mean, if you're phoning up the brewery, that's usually a good sign. Yeah. Um, and, okay, just a, a little bit of like local, local Bosnian flavor. Sure. If you wanted to order a beer in Bosnian, how would we say that? Um, well, depends which beer you want. If you're going for the regular kind of any beer, you basically just indicate which size you want, and it usually boils down to saying this, which is the large one, or this, which is the small one. Not to be confused with coffee, which is this, the large coffee, and this, the small coffee. So you need to use either both hands or one hand, depending on what you want. So uh, basically, if you want a beer, it's, it's going to be a two-hander. Exactly, yeah. Of course, there's more to Bosnia than just beers, but when you do come to visit, rest assured that finding excellent beers isn't something you'll need to worry about.